God, we are here to lift the name of Jesus with this song that calls him our worthy God, that calls him worthy the lamb that was slain for us. So join us as we lift him up today. worship you, we adore you. Father, thank you for this wonderful day, for this wonderful week, Lord, that we are up. We don't take it for granted. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for a restful night. And Lord, even as we begin this day, as we begin this week, our desire is that to allow you to be at the center of our life, to be at the center of everything that we do. So, Father, as we come together individually, but also collectively as a congregation for a time of devotion and reflection, before we begin the day, we invite your presence in a very, very special way. Spirit of the living God, take over. Thank you for, for who you are and what you do in our lives, and we don't take it for granted. May you be glorified in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. A very good morning to you, and we are glad that you are up ready to begin at the day and a new week. And we thank God for the opportunity and privilege. We don't take it for granted and even for God to allow us to see yet another new day, yet another new week. And we are praying that even as we bring our hearts together to worship, as we uh, allow the Lord to be at the center of our life, that this week 
will be such an impactful week in your life as a believer, in my life as a believer, and together we will continue to see God's goodness in our life. As we prepare to pray, as we begin the day together this week, we shall be reflecting on the power of worship. The power of worship and praise in a believer's life. We are all aware that next week is a very great week for us here as a congregation. Uh, we'll have a time of prayer and fasting that will culminate in our seven-hour worship experience. And we are looking forward to see what God wants to do in our life as individually, but also as a congregation. And therefore, this week, we, as we prepare, we want to focus mainly on the benefit of worship, benefits of worship. Uh, God dwells, God manifests himself in the praises of his people. When we worship him, when we praise his name, the Lord uh, manifests himself. And therefore, worship is a declaration of our weakness, a declaration of our weakness and God's strength. We are saying, God, we acknowledge your strength you are able to come and do that which only you can do. So whatever, therefore, the issue in our life, the key is to worship God who created us. God knows everything uh, about us, our failures, our shortcomings, our insecurities, our sins, and our fears. And uh, if we want to see breakthrough in our lives, um, in the way we live, the way we deal with other people, Worship is such a powerful tool. Worship is such a powerful tool. Therefore, this morning, our reflection will be cultivating a culture of gratitude. Cultivating a culture of gratitude. And I want us, even as we take time to pray, that we will pray for the spirit of gratitude in all the seasons of our life. Even as we are in the month of October, we look back and we are seeing how the year is progressing, that we will choose to be a people that are grateful. Number two, I want us to pray that in our worship, will stem from a place of grat gratefulness towards God's faithfulness. That will be a transition that we are not only just grateful, but we are also grateful for God's faithfulness in our life. And our anchor scripture this morning is a very familiar text, uh, Psalms chapter 100, chapter 100, and we shall be looking at from verse 1 and 5, and then we will take time to pray. Uh, the Bible records make a joyful noise to the lord all the earth serve the lord with gladness come into his presence uh, with singing know that the lord is good he is good it is he who made us and we are his we are his people and the sheep of his pastures therefore enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise Give thanks to him, bless his name, for the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. I want you to reflect on that portion of scripture, and even during the day, just meditate upon Psalms 100, and from verse 1 to 5, and be a place of being grateful to what God is able to do and what God will continue to do and the goodness of God and be reminded that we should continually enter his gates with thanksgiving and praise in our hearts. Let's pray, shall we? Our Father and our God, what an honor, what a privilege, Lord, that we can begin a new week with um, gratitude and just looking up and say, Father, we thank you for who you are and what you continue to, to mean to us, Lord. And even as we go throughout this month, as we prepare our hearts for, for, for worship and, 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 and gratitude and just spend time in your presence, Father, you are reminding us that we become a people who are grateful. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for for giving us a place to work. We thank you for giving us families, oh God. We thank you for each and everything that are part of our life, individually, but also corporately as a congregation. We thank you for bringing us together as brothers and sisters in the Lord, that, Father, we can be united in the things that bring glory and honor to you. The banner of the Lord, the banner of Christ being lifted high, that we know that indeed we have a common goal, and that is to continue to love you, continue to serve you, to continue to walk in your life. Father, we ask that even during this time that we are opening our hearts to worship, that Lord, we will worship you in spirit and in truth, O Jehovah, because that is what you desire. So, Father, we humble ourselves. We humble ourselves, O God, in your presence, that you will receive 
praise. You will receive worship. You will receive all the glory. You will receive all the honor because you are worthy. You are worthy to be worshipped. You are worthy to be worshipped. We thank you, our King. We honor you, our God. We recognize that indeed you are our God. And we love you. And we thank you for your presence. We thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit that keeps on walking with us and reminding us of, of who you are and what you continue to do in our life, in our moments of weakness, in our moments of fear, in our moments that we, short, we fall short of your glory. Father, you receive us back. And therefore, we choose to worship you. We choose to honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. I want to say a very big thank you for joining us uh, this day. And I pray that even as you go throughout the week, that the Lord will continue to put a hedge of protection around you, around your family, around your business. May his favor be upon you in your place of work. Uh, whatever you do, that God will grant you good health. And as you continue to do that, remember to continue to worship him because he is a good God. And he's worthy of our worship, he's worthy of our adoration, he's worthy of our praise, and he's worthy of our thanksgiving. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, may the Lord make his face to shine towards you. May he be gracious to you in your going out and in your coming back. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you so very much. We love you. Have a great week. Jesus.